Welcome to a new episode of Major Comics Metal Detecting. For this episode we visited some World War II artillery positions and without spoiling too much, we found them. I met up with Dutch World War II relic hunter, his friend and of the war diggers. And we went off into the forest. I thought the day started off like crazy. A huge foxhole, a deep signal and a rim of rust free steel. After half an hour or so of digging, the inner part of a modern washing machine came out. I have never felt so betrayed in my life. The person who has buried this must be as evil as they come. Luckily for us we managed to turn things around. We were finding evidence of the war. Bomb fragments, shell casings and I got this British Mastin handle. It doesn't seem to be much, but it tells us we are in the right area. And I've never found it, so it's a first for me. Then another peculiar find. Next find is in, guys. From our uh, mate who uh, doesn't have a YouTube channel, but at least it's something cool. Look at this. That is a uh, gas cylinder for the uh, life rescue fest of the paratroopers, I guess. And I will show you, tell you more information, but that's a cool find. This is a May West life jacket CO2 canister. For blowing up the vest within an instant. This could help in life threatening situations, but it also made for a nice pillow. We thought we had hit the hotspot, but alas, nothing else except shrapnel and shell casings. Because of it, we moved along until after Wardiger shouted he had a dump hole. The first sign was this ammunition we box. We just found a dump pit. 25 pounder ammo box, probably. And uh, I just pulled this jerrycan out. Look at Very that. nice jerrycan. Oh, look at that. Pretty hard. Solid. It's still working. Probably Rick is right. After that a lot more came out. In total two ammunition boxes and four jerry cans. Some of them went with us and some of them went back into the massive hole which we obviously closed up nicely. When closing the pit the weather started to change rapidly and before long we were wet to the bone. We decided to call it quits and drive home once more. The next trip was with ME after war diggers and World War II metal detecting Belgium. We had a few places in mind which ought to be good. We got permission for those places but the grass was still too long, making detecting impossible. The only thing that came out for me was this nice US K ration Nescafe coffee satchel. We had a nice day with scorching hot weather, good camaraderie and nature, but no proper finds to show you. For the last trip of this video, after Wardegus contacted me to go on a trip to the location of the 82nd Airborne and British artillery positions. The guys started immediately on digging a big ass hole and I wandered a bit around them. My first find was pretty cool though. Literally my first find. <laughs> Look at this guys. This is part of a K98. It's the front part. Uh, close to where the bayonet was uh, supported. That's pretty cool here. You can pretty much see everything. It's a piece of iron but it's a piece of K98. Woohoo! Afterwards I found dozens of different shell casings and the odd piece of artillery position. In the meanwhile my mates found the first items in their pit with for example these ammunition boxes, some in extremely good condition. Be sure to check the channels out to see all the finds. Last but not least I wandered off and stumbled upon a nice area where I found this awesome item. Well yeah, we're a few hours further. Mates from Afterwater get found a huge dump pit with a nice uh, ammo boxes and a very, very, very nice on the bottom of the pit a uh, religious uh, pendant. And I went a little bit further. 
right, look at this guys. Look at this, this makes me happy. That is a airborne hook from the parachute. Damn, that's nice. That is very, very nice. You can even see the string still attached. What the bloody hell, didn't expect that. So that's a gorgeous find, woohoo. And with that last woohoo, I want to close off this small video. In the future I will still keep my regular upload schedule for of once every two weeks for longer vids. But I will also start uploading content from museums and shorts just to keep things interesting. That was it, we had a great time detecting together and we succeeded in our mission to save some history yet again. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the show and you can always leave a comment. Bye bye.